Hey, Randy, how's hey, it going? Guys, I love it. Just, um, you know, hanging out here in the beautiful, beautiful... Isn't it awesome here? Yeah, it's amazing. It, it really is. It has been such an <laughs> yeah. awesome day here with you today. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Well, I've really enjoyed meeting you guys. I love how you just, you know, dive headfirst into everything you do. It's great. There you go. Thank you very much. I mean, we loved, I mean, hanging out. And, you know, be, you know, you gave us some really cool ideas today. I mean, that were, I mean, you know, I mean, I really thought about it. I was like, I was like, wow, I can't believe she said that. You know, and the, the strategies that you had. And one of those strategies, what I was, you know, really shocked about, as I said, about the work-life balance. And, yeah. you're like, and you, you totally threw me off. You're there like, <laughs> it's not about balance. I mean, yeah. and, you know, and so can you talk a little bit more about, you know, that, you know, what you yeah. said about your strategy? Well, gosh, it's, it's funny. I remember at a really young age, um, I really, really wanted to apply to Harvard. And my parents told me, you know, they, they were like, I don't think you're going to get in. Like, maybe you shouldn't apply because all you do is theater and opera. And yeah. Harvard's like looking for people who are really smart and everything, you know. So maybe I think they were trying to, you know, manage my expectations. Yeah. Um, and then I remember going to visit Harvard and they were like, we have two types of students here. Well-balanced, who are kind of good at everything. And then really well-lopsided students. Mm -hmm. Like wow. students who really bring something very special and unique to the student body. And so I was like, that's me. Like I'm a yeah. lopsided person, not a balanced person. And I applied and I got in. And that philosophy, I really kept, carried that into my entire life and my business because I think society spends so much time telling us that we have to be well balanced. We have to do it all every day. But the honest answer is that some of us are just well lopsided. Yeah. Like we're, you know, we're really, really good at one thing or, you know, we're at a time in our lives where you just need to be all in on your business yeah. or all in on your family or all in on, on something else. And, mm -hmm. and that might be better for you at that moment. So right. I shared a mantra that I have called pick three. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I have five yeah. things, work, sleep, family, friends, fitness, right. yeah. pick three. You don't get to pick all five. You can pick a different three every day, but you wake up in the morning and you get to pick three of those things. What's the priority? Yeah. yeah. That specific I mean, day. does that help you to not be so overwhelmed, I guess? Yes. It, first of all, I, it helps me to not feel guilty about the things oh, I didn't, okay. I I didn't pick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I think a lot of times, especially parents, working parents, have a lot of guilt if they're traveling or away. And so, you know, here I am today in this beautiful time with you. I'm obviously picking work. I'm not picking my family, right. but that's mm. okay. I'm having a great day being well lopsided here with you guys, knowing that I'm going to come home and I'm going to give it all to my children right. tomorrow. Right. And I think, you know, that's okay. You don't have to do everything in one day. So I think as long as it balances out in the long term, give yourself permission to, to focus. Because when I think of the things I'm most proud about in my business work that I've done, I've never done any of those things when I was well balanced. That's awesome. Wow, that's and really it's interesting. It really makes me think too, you know, right now, for example, we are very lopsided as well oh. being here. And yet the first day of school for our children is tomorrow and we'll still be down here with you. And, uh, mm -hmm. but that's what we needed to do right now. Yeah. And our children know that we're still always there for them. And I just love this. Absolutely. This concept and of when how push we... comes to shove, like if you need, when you need to be well lopsided in favor of your family and your children, you will be. Absolutely. You know, and he also here you guys are, you're doing this together. Yeah. So like you really are kind of choosing family too. Right. Exactly. <laughs> this is yeah. how we build our relationships. Yeah. Together. And yeah. it's interesting to me that out of all of the things that you could pick in the world and you pick these five <laughs> to choose from every day. Yeah. So I have to ask, given that we are so into fitness, how did fitness become one of them? And what are your favorite ways yeah. to incorporate that into your busy schedule? Well, for me, I think fitness is kind of, it incorporates the bigger bucket of health, kind yeah. of health and wellness. Yes. I say fitness, but really when I say, you know, when I pick that as one of my three, it's mostly about kind of prioritizing my own health and wellness. Mm -hmm. So right. I, uh, you know, things like meditation, uh, I, I include in that bucket things That's that great. are okay. pri prioritizing health. Yeah. For me, I feel like if I'm not my best self, there's no way that I can give my best to my business or to my family. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not taking care of myself and, you know, taking some time for self wellness and mm -hmm. self care, going to the gym, being 
the strongest that I can be, then how can I be out there as a leader? How could I, you know, we've been going today for, you know, 10, 10 plus hours already and we're still going, you know, if I wasn't taking care of myself, how could you have that stamina? Yeah. So, um, I think it's, it's incredible what you're doing, making fitness more accessible for more people, because I think a lot of people feel overwhelmed. They think I have to, you know, it's a two hour expedition to the gym and home and this, and right. here right. you are making videos uh, on Facebook live and doing all kinds yeah. of things, making it so accessible for people to have that as one of the three things they pick every day. Mm -hmm. there you awesome. go. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, and thank you so much. I mean, you have, you are just a really an inspiration. I mean, the energy that you, you know, give out. I mean, it's like, you know, all day long, I mean, you know, you're here and you're giving all the energy and I can see it. It's not like, it's not like yeah. you're even faking it. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, you know, I just love being here and I think that is so great. And whenever it comes to, you know, that energy, I mean, where, I mean, where does it come from? I mean, it comes from some kind of passion, I clearly, that you've got with, you know, entrepreneurs and making things better. But can you talk a little bit more about that? I mean, because I wish most, more people had it. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that really ideal th place to be in life is when you're kind of at that intersection of what you love and what you can make money doing. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, if you can find the place where those two circles touch, mm -hmm. it's just a magical place because, um, and I don't even say, you know, what you can make money at because that should be a driving factor. Yeah. Money is a validation that what you're doing is uh, wanted yeah. by other mm -hmm. people. Um, and so if you can really be at that place where you're doing what you love and it's wanted by yeah. other people, it's fantastic. And so I just, I feel so lucky to be, you know, right now in my life after kind of working so hard for a decade in Silicon Valley and, yeah. um, you know, to be experiencing and riding that wave for the moment and to have the chance to meet so many incredible entrepreneurs that are seeking that out too mm -hmm. is uh, incredible. Yeah, that's really good. And, uh, you know, and clearly, you know, it's a lot about work and family, but, you know, the one thing you, when we talked earlier is about, you know, some dreams and, you know, how did you, you know, you've got a lot of dreams and one of them, okay, was about Broadway. Yeah. And, and I mean, you know, it's like, you know, whenever people want dreams to come true, I mean, what, what, what should they focus on? What should they do? Well, I think, uh, be, so my dream, I always wanted to sing on Broadway and I always thought there was only one way to get there, right? You know, the traditional audition or get an agent and, you know, do the things that, you know, that, that every, the steps that everyone tells you is right. the way to get there. What I've learned in life is that there's approximately 8 million ways to get to any end goal. Everyone, the majority of people are going to go one path, but like, why not climb through the window or through the, you know? Yeah. And so for me, what's funny is I ended up making it to be on Broadway after all, but it wasn't through auditions and agents and stuff. It was because I built my brand on social media right. and it was because I, I carved my own way to get to that path. So, you know, if you have a dream that's out there that feels really lofty or really far away, uh, it just means maybe you have to take a, a different path than everyone else is taking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Randy, thank you so thank much. You. Oh, can I get out? Yeah, oh, so, oh you are such an inspiration. Thank you, thank you so much. So, it's so fun spending yeah. the day with you. Yeah. Yeah. And we just have to ask you before we leave, because I know we're going to do some dancing tonight and oh, get some yeah. exercise, Woo. but can we just get a few push-ups in yeah, before we go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's All right, warm let's up. Go. All right. <laughs> All right, the heels are coming off. Ten. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ten push-ups. Ten push-ups. All right. Okay. All right. Ready? Here, Here we go. go. One, One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice. All right. I'm pumped. Now we're ready to go for the night. <laughs>